Good morning, we're at Chessington again. So we just had our temperature check by the lovely cast members, or staff members over there, not cast members here, because this isn't Disney, is it? Um, <laughs> Disney on the brain, because Gemma's here, Hi. and Matt's here, Hi. and we've been talking about Disney on the whole way down here, <laughs> so I've got Disney on my oh, mind. On the podcast. The podcast. So, um, if you watch this channel, you will know Gemma, you'll know Matt. They have now got their own channel, a Gem in Orlando, Woo! check out the masks, <laughs> check out Gem in Orlando, they've been talking about their upcoming Orlando trip um, in great detail as well as filming their visits to UK parks, so give them a watch. Oh, welcome everyone. Hello. Hi sweetie. Hello. Welcome. Hello. 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 Thank you love. Thank you. Enjoy your day. Cheers. So we're in the park, past the very thorough security searches, which are all good. Um, we are going to head on in. We're really early. The park opens at 10 o'clock, it's only half nine. Um, so it's very quiet at the moment. There's no one here apart from Gemma and Matt. <laughs> and us lot. So today, as well as me being here, we've also got Reagan, Robin and River. So the main reason for our visit today is of course Croc Drop, which is over there, just poking over the top of the trees. We'll check that out later. And then the other thing that I'm kind of looking forward to as well is down here, which is the new pirate ship, the Blue Barnacle. The one that was here before was uh, Black Buccaneer and that was really good. That was one of my favourite pirate ships, so it'll be interesting to see how it compares. So the park isn't open yet, but we've um, been let in and normally they will hold you in certain areas, but they're just letting people roam free in the closed park. Croc Drop is currently testing. We're heading there first. Let's see how that looks. Crocshop, of course, replaces Ramsey's Revenge, which was the park's only inverting ride, so that's now gone. But the theming's good. It's, um, yeah, it definitely looks looks the part, doesn't it? It's the same ride type as Magma down at Portland's Park, which I've been on, which was all right. You know, not the greatest drop tower in the world, but it was pretty good. So let's see how Crocshop compares um, as soon as it opens. As I said, it's still really early in the day, so. Uh, it's not open yet, but as soon as it opens, I guess we're going to be first in the queue. I'm not expecting it to be a busy day today. It's school day. The park's been open for two weeks now. We didn't come in the first week because we thought that might be a little bit rammed. Um, that music's very loud, isn't it? It's just got louder. Um, yeah, so uh, I think we're expecting a quiet day. We should get on everything, hopefully. Should be a good one. actually really good that was better than I expected it to be um, there's a really lovely view of the top and you can see all of London over that way all the rest of the park over this side and it's finished around of course you can see it all yeah nice little bit of floater air when it drops down it's really good fun it's a nice addition to the park it's nowhere near as intense as Ramsey's Revenge was you can tell it's shifting to the family focus but that is a good little family drop tower and I'm sure my other kids who are over 1.2 will really enjoy that when we come back This little log flume, Robin's just very slightly too small for it at the moment, but it's got ring-tailed coates, 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 ring-tailed coates, and capybaras as well, which is pretty cool. So next time we come, Robin, you'll be big enough because you're they're about two millimeters under the line. Next time you'll be big enough and go on that one, yeah. 
You gotta look at the tigers. Let's go look at the tigers then. So we're looking for tigers now. Um, I haven't found any yet. We're gonna have a look around the enclosure, but Tiger Rock here doesn't open till 11 o'clock today. Um, most things open at 10, that opens at 11. But we're gonna look for tigers. I can't see any yet. So I don't know if they're even out today, but Robin wants to see one. We found a tiger. Robin? Say hello. So, hey, we're in Lorikeet Lagoon, and Robin, look, look down there. Look at all those ducks. See some ducks and a pigeon. Bears poo hard, just so you know. And in the water, you can see the fish as well. I think, are they koi? Something like that. And the ducks. And the lorikeets, which are all kind of hovering over there at the moment, but we'll go and see those. Oh. <laughs> you see the lorikeets in there? And there's some that are outside, look. Up there. So we've just done Cobra, that was uh, that was all right, wasn't it? Cobra's always the same. I think I'm immune to it now. I spent so many times going on Rambazamba at Adventure Island that it just doesn't really do much to me anymore, but it was fun, it was still good. Um, so we are in Wild Asia, and this is an indication of how quiet the park is. It is currently 10.46, and yeah, there's no one here. <laughs> I reckon it's going to be quiet all day. So it's this is this is Reagan's birthday trip. So while we're here, it looks like Gemma and Matt have bought Reagan a present. So uh, happy birthday, darling! Oh, so what have we got? Bath bombs. You'll enjoy those. Yeah. This is Sea Dragons. This is one of the only rides that the kids can go on. <laughs> so waiting for Robin to hit that magic 90 centimetres. They are currently about 89.7 centimetres. They're so close. Um, they got height checked when we got here this morning, um, open guest services, and they were just under, literally by a couple of millimetres, which is a shame. But next time we come, they'll definitely be big enough and we'll be able to unlock all of the 90 centimetre rides. Someone had the really clever idea of coming up to the um, canopy capers thing and the only way through is here. So I'm, uh, I'm crawling at the moment. Uh, no, I'm not a crawling person. <laughs> uh, whose idea was this, Robin? <laughs> Gemma's doing it. This was a terrible idea. Oh, this was a real, this was an awful idea. <laughs> oh. Right, how you go then? Oh. Uh, oh, oh. Well done, Robin. Oh. We'll do another one now. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so me and Reagan have just come off Dragon's Fury. If you saw my last Chessington video from last year, um, if you haven't seen it, go back and watch it now. But um, if you saw that, you will have seen we had the most ridiculous spin that time and just now it didn't really spin very much at all. Now both of us weigh the same if not more as we did last year. Um, so there's no real reason why it wouldn't have spun as much but it didn't. Who knows. See, now they're spinning a lot, which means we just had a rubbish car, I think. So I think we've decided on the smokehouse thing for lunch. It's not open just yet, because it's still not quite 12 o'clock. 
Uh, we'll be going in there in a minute. So in the meantime, we have come into the queue line for this because this is something the river can do. Yeah. And the Robin can do. Are you excited, River? River, yeah. <laughs> it shows. So we've ordered our food, we are now waiting for our food. Gemma and Mats has turned up quite a long time ago actually. Uh, as it's coming though, so, as it's coming, here it is. So our food has now arrived. Um, Reagan is having a half chicken with jacket potato and some cheese. And I am having a vegan hot dog because it'll look like the most appetizing thing on the menu and I'm trying to cut down on meat intake anyway. And it comes with these seasoned fries which are all right. They're okay. And then River and Robin have got uh, some chicken yeah. and chips. But yeah, all tastes quite good. How's yours? The beef is very chewy, but it's really good. Yeah? <laughs> very good. Good. <laughs> chips are lovely. Mm. Okay, we're all finished now. Um, okay, so thoughts on the vegan hot dog at this smokehouse barbecue at Chesterton. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So the chips are really good, very yummy. The hot dog was okay, a bit bland. The bun tasted kind of like it had just been defrosted and not quite fully defrosted. It had bits that were quite cold, um, which was a bit strange. So, yeah, it was all right though. I'd say if you, if you are coming here and you do have a vegan diet, the options are not great. I tried it, so you don't have to. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I think I think next time I come here, if I come here again, I will probably have to order a dead animal because it would taste better. Reagan's chicken. I had a bite of the chicken. It was lovely. So I think it's just the vegan hot dog that they're not quite good at. Um, everyone else seemed to really enjoy their food. Oh, so we did. We did. Definitely. Yeah. Mm, you definitely, we did. Yeah. yeah. But it was a bit chewy. The beef. That was my only gripe with it. But uh, mm. I got good teeth. <laughs> no, mine yeah. was good. Yours Very was good. good. Can't complain. Can't yeah. complain. Yeah. So. Um, but yeah, you know, I mean, I ate it all. It wasn't that bad. <laughs> Just going for a little walk around trailer the kings now while the, the kids relax. So uh, I'm going to have a quick look around to see if we can see any animals in here. We saw some sea lions. There he is, just up there. If you look carefully, a leopard. So there's a serval if you can see it. The glass is reflecting everything, but that is a very beautiful serval. So this is where you can actually see the lion, and that's why everybody is here. <laughs> Gruffalo Bubble Works is closed today, as are all the indoor attractions, which is a little bit of a shame, but understandable. Probably squinting because the sun's in my eyes, but never mind. Um, so we just had our little ride on Vampire, and um, they're running two trains, but they are running one empty. That's how quiet it is. We've got one train which is running probably three quarters full every time, and the other one's just running empty every time. It's fun. I like Vampire. It's um, a lovely little coaster. Always a joy to ride. Although I find you have to ride it a certain way. Like I have to position myself a certain way with my hand kind of holding the underside of the restraint 
um, to stop myself jolting around too much. But, but it's good fun though, isn't it? It's a good fun ride. Here comes the empty train. Okay, so we're waiting for the blue barnacle. We could have got on that ride cycle, but we would have been right in the middle. So we are going to hang around and wait for the back. As I haven't been on this pirate ship before, I want the best seat on the ride. So here's a shot of the blue barnacle doing its swinging thing that it does. I'll be alright. I think I might sit not on the back back. You can have the back back, Rainbow. <laughs> Difference. <laughs> so that was the blue barnacle. Um, yeah, uh, it was all right, wasn't it? Bog standard pirate ship, really. It's okay. A little bit of. Um, float our air at the start and then you just kind of get used to it not as um, sort of playfully throwing you around as Black Buccaneer used to but yeah still pretty fun though still a good ride so any cameras and don't put your arms outside the vehicle you're now in area where flamingo have been sighted I love these incredible birds they are easily identified by their pink plumage and for spending time standing on one leg Keep an eye out, researchers. Our satellites show you should be close to seeing some giraffes. Giraffes! Wow! In the wild, the giraffe population has dropped by 40% in the past 30 years due to poaching and habitat loss. The Chesterton Conservation Fund supports giraffe conservation by funding scientific research. Rhino! The rhino around the reserve are white rhino. Now you may want to hold on to your noses for a bit here, researchers. Wherever you get rhino, you also get a lot of rhino dung. Rhino dung? What poo? <laughs> to worry, but beware of dung. Flamingos. So that was um, Zufari. Last time I came, I didn't do Zufari. So um, that was my first experience of that particular soundtrack that they put on there, which is kind of irritating, <laughs> I guess. Um, and that end bit with the cave, I don't, I, I don't know why that exists. It would be great if it was just as far as like, hey, look at all these cool animals, good, right, bye. Um, but instead you have to go through that cave and then there's a disco light and then the cave just vomits and, and that's the end of it. So uh, just like all the, the sound building up, like boom, 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 bleh, and all the water comes out. That's what it does. So um, yeah, they could do without that cave bit. But other than that, it's an all right ride. And it's nice to see the giraffes. We've got a really good up, up close shot of the giraffe as you will see on this uh, vlog. We've got just over two hours left in the park. These two are snoozing. So I think um, we'll probably try and get Rattlesnake and Tiger Rock done while they're asleep and then hopefully we'll have the last hour just do that bit in the middle with the um, Elmer thing and the truckers and stuff like that that they can go on and we can finish off the day doing that. So just did rattlesnake and um, it jolts you around still as it always has done and it's painful and generally quite an unpleasant experience until you get to the actual drops and hills which are fine. Did you enjoy rattlesnake? Apart from the top bit. Yeah. I'm, really, I'm very much enjoying it. You like it, yeah. yeah. Apart from the top bit but yeah it's the first time I'm classic I suppose is it? I, yeah I guess so. It's, it is quite jolty and painful so if you do have any like joint problems or anything don't do it <laughs> yeah it's the last 1.4 meter height restriction uh, ride left in the park now that Ramesses has gone so um, who knows perhaps it stays a numbered all right we're heading around to Tiger Rock now if you have already watched Gemma's video of today's visit you'll see me saying that I've never seen this unit open even when it was panning for gold even back in the old days and there it is open so so there you go donuts and churros for everyone <laughs> you can probably see the water droplets on my glasses i've just come off tiger rock um it was closed briefly when we got over here but reopened um and we got on it fairly quickly i mean everything's walk on today anyway so um yeah it was it was walk on and um yeah got a little bit wet not too wet comfortably wet like refreshingly like not not to the point where i'm soaking and drenched and 
unpleasant, but no, that was good. That was all right. I didn't see any tigers though. Gemma and Matt have taken Robin on the trucks and Robin really, really likes this one, so they're very happy about that. You're driving, Robin. <laughs> they put them all together. So it appears they've changed this ride by attaching all of the trucks together. We're on the Elmer elephant ride. Lula looks absolutely tiny. <laughs> and Robin and Reagan are in the car behind, or the elephant behind, and uh, yeah, off we go. This is one that River can go on. <laughs> and I've not been on this one before, so You're driving, Robin. come on last time, so uh, something new for me as well. We get to see the um, ring tailed, whatever they were called, Coaties. Coaties and capybaras as well. I think all the animals have retired for the evening. Um, there's nothing around to look at, but the kids are enjoying it anyway. Even Auntie Mem's enjoying it as well. I'll sit down. <laughs> You're doing good with that driving, Robin. Yeah, driving better than I do. So I think we're going to call it a day here. We're in the gift shop. Um, Robin and Gemma and Matt are having a little look around. Weaver's looking at all the toys that they're not going to have. But whilst um, I was on Tiger Rock, um, Reagan and Robin and River were given a voucher for two free ice cream by a lovely member of staff. So we will be redeeming that at some point soon. Hopefully in here, if there's any ice creams in here. We're finishing up our day at Chessington with some ice cream, courtesy of Chessington, which is lovely. You enjoying that? Strawberry cornetto. <laughs> That's a funny way of eating it, but yeah. And I've got this um, caramel magnum thing, which is great, so I'm going to eat that. Reagan's just bought a, a map and spent lots of money on a park map. No for the lanyard. So I think that's going to bring to an end our day here at Chessington today. So the key things, crop drop and blue barnacle. Yeah, good additions to the park. Blue barnacle's not as good as Black Buccaneer was. Crop drop, is it as good as Ramesses Revenge? I don't know, it's different, isn't it? It's not, it's, it's different. It's a different ride. It's a different experience. It's something more for younger kids as well. And I think it is a good addition to the park. It was a lot of fun, um, not too, intense and just you know playful enough and a lovely view from the top have you had a good time yep. have you had a good time we've had a fab day yeah brilliant time. absolutely yeah. brilliant great good robin have you had a good time <laughs> have you had a good time <laughs> river have you had a good time yeah. Yeah. Okay then, well I had a good time anyway and um, yeah we'll be back here again before the end of the season for sure. I don't know what my next theme park trip is going to be but I'm sure I'll see you there um, by way of YouTube. So thank you very much for watching, see you soon, bye!